A day in the life of subsistence, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way it works. Because the hunters aren't the only ones that can get revenge. There. Fuck you, asshole. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is cold AF out here. As you can see, um, the uh, pond is now frozen. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is pop a hole in the ice uh, here. No, it looks like we have to be out further. Uh, this is about as close as we can get. All right. Because uh, even the streams are frozen over, which seems a little odd, but they are. Um, well, I, mean, I guess if it's cold enough, even, even streams will freeze over. Um, but we need to do this so we can get water. And um, can I get the water from here? There we go. And also, um, you know, we can fish, uh, fish out of here too. I didn't actually bring my fishing tackle with me. Um, so I'm at the point where, <clears throat> excuse me, the base is about... 85% repaired. I've gotten attacked again, and I've killed a few more hunters. Um, you know, just mostly to defend myself. I haven't been going and attacking their base or anything. Uh, but I'm still super low on nails. But now we have the added um, feature, we'll call it, of the game, where we now have to contend with ice. But looks like it won't be too bad uh, doing this. Um, I was kind of hoping we could get a little closer to our ice hut here, but... I should be able to put the pole in here and then back up and stay into here, uh, you know, to fish. So anyway, that's the that's the idea behind that. Now I want to try something. All right, right now it's zero degrees. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Never mind. That isn't going to work. Okay. I was going to see if I could take the the doorway and the door off and bring it back to the base, but. You can't just like pick it up and put your inventory. I forgot about that. So anyway, yeah, it is super cold out and we still need nails like there's no tomorrow. Um, Because what I want to do is, you know, as cold as I, I, I'm seeing it get now. I mean, we had a storm earlier and it was like minus 12, which is way colder than I can handle in my current condition. Uh, I can handle up to minus 6.5. Um, also, I, I did get another foundation down here and another wall up here, and I upgraded this to plates because we, you know, we looted some more plates at some point. But I'm still hanging on to the four, uh, four of these. Oh, actually, I guess we have five now um, to make the uh, the two armor pieces when the moment comes for us to do that. But cotton is, of course, what's holding us up. Anyway, what I'm I'm saying is that even standing right next to the fireplace here, um, I was still like really cold. I mean, not deadly cold but if january and february get even worse than december it's we're still in december but it's getting close to january that could be a thing so we really need to make at a minimum a little enclosed place here for us to get, get inside because you know we're in a cave but we're not technically you know really actually inside anywhere um so that being said um i, I need a curved wall a curved ceiling and then a straight wall and a doorway to make all this work. Um, the other thing too, while I'm thinking about it, is I want to make the recycler. So let's see, how are we doing on power? Yeah, um, I guess that's not going to happen right now because um, I've been, you know, trying to to refine all this stuff, but um, we don't have enough power to make that now until we get some more biofuel, which is the other thing that I'm constantly out of. Uh, I have two here. I guess we could put this one in and build it up a little bit and I'm not going to run anything else right now uh, to take care of that. So, um, you know, the stopping point as usual is nails. I have seven nails there, but I need that uh, we, because this is a curved foundation here, I have to make the curved wall. Um, so that's going to cost, that takes 12 nails to make. Plus we need to make another straight wooden wall and another door so that's 30 nails right there plus we need to make a roof uh, so 38 nails we need to come up with 38 nails just to build a little enclosure here now I'm gonna move uh, some of this other stuff out of the way too so let's go ahead and 
I'm not super worried about exactly where I put it at this point because again this has always been and still is a temporary setup here but why don't we put that put that there and we'll grab this one and move it over too. I just need to clear some space for both the walls and for me to stand in. Um, we'll put that there. I can still get to the uh, to the to the Ginny. Uh, this probably is okay where it is, but let's just move it anyways. All right. Um, maybe we'll put that right in front of here for now. Okay. Um, and then this too, I mean, I don't think this actually generates any heat. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So let's just slide it over. I mean, you'd think it would, but I've not noticed it generate heat. Maybe it does. But even so, it's not our actual heat source. So let's just put that right there. Okay, that gives us this little corner that we can close in. And if it gets brutally, brutally cold, we can at least come into this little room uh, and stay alive. <laughs> Oh man, I was like starting to get a little worried there when I was seeing it, you know, get like 14 below. Um, and again, we're still just in December too, so. Okay, so nails. We got to find nails. Uh, how are we doing on nutrition? Uh, we got to eat something. Uh, I got a chicken here. Let's butcher that. Uh, we're also... Ah, shit, we're out of wood too. We got to get wood. Um, let's also cook up we're pretty low. Let's grab a pork chop and get that cooking. I'm not really concerned about food as long as I can get out and fish if we ultimately run out of food in the fridge while it's still like, oh my god, cold, you know? Um, oh, I need to get uh, these cooked back up too. Uh, so let's put that in there. Uh, what was I going to do? This is, yeah, we got a charge on that. Good. Okay. Uh, I was going to do something. I can't remember what it was now. Can't remember. Uh, okay, so let's wait for the, the meat to finish. Then we're going to just run outside, cut some wood, run back inside. Uh, with the wind blowing, it gets just brutally cold out there, so I can't stay out there very long. Okay, let's uh, eat that. Pork chop is medium at the moment. Uh, no, let's put this on there. We'll go out. Cut a couple trees, just make a short run around the base looking for nails. Now, I hope, I I don't know if this is the case, but I really hope that the weather also affects the hunters. It should. I mean, they're humans, right? And so they should be subject to the same limitations that I am, but I don't know if that's actually going to be the case. All right, let's eat that guy up. Um, let's drink one water. And put that one in to cook, and the rest of these, we'll just, <coughs> excuse me, we'll just keep in here for now. And we just had some more break up above. <coughs> okay, yeah, it's it's freaking cold, you guys. Um, so let's hit a couple trees, and then run back in and warm up. See, it's minus 12 right now. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So yeah, we'll just hit a couple trees see if we can find a chest or two nearby and then we got to run back in see a chicken and a rabbit but not too worried about them right at the moment yeah I hope I hope the hunters are limited by the weather too wouldn't be surprised if they aren't but they should be The last group that I killed, I didn't notice if they were wearing winter clothing or not. I can't remember if they were. Okay, here's a chest. Let's run and grab this real quick, and then we better head back because we're already down quite a bit on our health. Oh, man, no nails. Come on, game. Nails have just been the bane of my existence. I have noticed that the hunter attacks have slowed down on my base and I'm sure that's because I haven't antagonized them but they still do show up every once in a while oh good another nail crate come on come on come on yeah, there's a few more 
And I, I'm on the problem too is I'm really low on iron, so I can't really make a whole lot more nails either. Okay, we're about halfway down. Uh, we should really probably kill this guy just so we can um, get some more biofuel. Yeah, two more pieces of fat. That's gonna help. Yeah, it's it's touch and go, man, and it has been for a long time. We just have the added difficulty now of winter to deal with on top of everything else. But again, if the hunters chill for a while, and I mean that figurative, figuratively and literally, um, you know that'll that'll help. All right, let's put the liver in here, and uh, we'll put the rose hips in there. We need to wash off. Let's use the dirty water for that. And we'll keep those empties in our thing. I don't know how long the ice hole lasts before it freezes back up again, so that's another thing we'll have to figure out. Okay, that gives us nine nails. <laughs> it's, oh my goodness. Okay, sounds like the storm has abated a little bit. Um, so let's go back out. Make sure that stays topped off. If that goes out, we're in... We're in big trouble. And it's getting dark too, which is going to make it even colder. But let's see if we can make one more quick run. Uh, if for no other reason, it gets more wood. Our health actually still isn't... It's still pretty low, so yeah, we just got to really watch that. Fun, fun, man. Gotta love winter. Winter in the mountains. It's at minus 11 right now. Rose hip. I mean, I suppose I could... Well, no, actually, forget that. We could go take down our... our mountain lion blind up above. Um, but the only thing is, that's all that is is a foundation, so that's not really going to help us for what we need to make on the inside. Whew, cold, cold, cold. Alright, so if I stand right next to the fire, it's 2, 4 degrees. Alright. Let's top that off. Put that in there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just uh, up to 746. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and um, that'll get us five. Okay, just probably do the same thing that I just did. I'm going to go out, chop a few trees, come back in, warm up, go out, chop a few trees, hit a couple crates, come back in, warm up, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then. Uh, I'll bring you guys back in the morning, and then from there we'll figure out what our next move is. But uh, we got to get this little shelter built. So, all right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. It is uh, early morning, and uh, I went out and did a wood run last night. Uh, one of the things about going out when it's that cold is we really lose our, our protein um, quickly, too. And so uh, what I'm doing here is we're going to eat one of these right now, and then we're going to take another one out there with us to kind of try and counter that. So we're all the way up on carbs. Pretty good on beverage. I got a couple more. Uh, I also have the pole with us too, so we're going to go try uh, and do a little bit of ice fishing while we're out and about and continue to look for nails. So let's go on through here and uh, see how things go. Um... So right now it's minus six and now even minus five. We can handle that. So I might try not to sprint so much either just to further save calories, but it's kind of, um, you know, sprinting wastes calories, more calories, but you also get to where you need to go faster. So it's kind of, um, <laughs> uh, shit. Really? Really guys? Okay. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Um, Let's see if we can kill these guys sort of kind of away from the base, just because I can't, uh... He does have a winter coat on. 
Oh shit, where's that coming from? Ah, there's too many of them. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, okay, so they do have winter clothes on, which means, of course, that they can also be out and about during the winter. Well, that sucks. I'm trying to see if he's going to run all the way back to his base or if they're still going to attack my base. It looks like they're still going after my base. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I think at this point, we're just going to have to let them do their worst. And then when they're done, we go get our stuff. And the cycle starts all over again. We use all of our nails to repair instead of build the stuff that we need to build. <coughs> yeah, that, was, that wasn't really a smart move on my part. I should have just... I should have ran back to the base and let the base take the brunt of it while I can try and kill them. Yeah, at least they're giving us some arrows. Come on, assholes. You can stop now. Go away. Holy shit. They're still here? Okay, I think, I think they're done. All right, so. He's still out there. I mean, all things said and done, not severe damage on the inside. I do have double walls on the outside. There's a chest up there. Um. Let's wait and see what this asshole does. If I could get around him and get my stuff, I might be able to kill him. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. Grab that. Let's grab this too. And quickly get our clothes back on. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll tear that into rags. And we didn't lose any weapons, so that's good. Let's reload this. A day in the life of subsistence, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way it works. Alright, we got a chest down here. Um, but let's go see if we can kill that asshole. We killed one of them, of course. If he's still wandering around over there, we're going to make him pay. Because the hunters aren't the only ones that can get revenge. There's another chest over there, too. Yeah, he's still there. Okay, actually, here. Do I have any rounds for this? One. There. Fuck you, asshole. Okay. Pardon the language there, but sometimes this gets a little frustrating. It's, you know, my take on, on swearing in general is if you have a reason to swear, then do it if you're pissed or frustrated. So there you go. All right. Well, um, that's not the best start to our morning, but I suppose it could have been a little worse. 
Um, now we're going to have to expend power to get another respawn point set. Um, I almost, I'm almost tempted to just go take them out, actually. Um, if there's only one left, we could do it, and then we could raid their stuff. Um, and get, you know, make this all worth, worthwhile. Let's see, can we get up here? Oh, no, didn't quite make it. What about over on this side? Well, thanks to this fucking wolf, we just lost two of our magnum rounds that we would have needed to take them guys out. Thanks, wolf. Appreciate that. Ugh. What a day, man. What a day. All right. Well, he did bring us some much needed fat, so I can't complain about that. All right, let's just do this now and we'll drink this. Okay, can, can we get over here now? Oh, there we go, okay. Whew. All right, I wanna see if my ice hole is still there. If it is, we'll fill up our water and then we're gonna go pay a visit to our friends over there. Fortunately, they're close enough to our base. Oh no, it froze over again. Okay. Um, well, let's go deal with these guys first because if we are gonna break into the base, we wanna do it before nightfall, of course. I know it's just kind of perpetuating the, the conflict, but you know, they could have some really good stuff that we could really use. I see one guy there. All right, let's make this up close and personal here. Just wait and see what side he comes out on. Way to shoot the tree, dumbass. Alright, let's take it that and this. Oh nice, we got some SVT rounds out of the deal. Okay, we need to be careful of a claymore. Uh is that it right there? Yeah, I think it is. Alright. Well, you know what? We have no reason to walk over there. So yeah, let's not let's not do that. Okay. Well, um, I think we've cleared these guys out, so what we're going to do is go back to the base, make some picks, and come back here, and nice, break down their door. So let me go do that, and I'll meet you guys back over here. Actually, I'll probably meet you back over here after I'm ready to break the door down. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, assuming nothing crazy happens between now and then. All right, guys, um, we are ready to break in. There's a couple chests that spawned in over there, that, and then I've been kind of keeping my eye on that wolf. He's He got really close to me at one point, but then he turned around. Uh, let's grab these right now. And then we're going to break in there and take all of their goodies. I don't think there's another guy in there, but there might be, so we need to be prepared. Here we go. There is. He must have armor on or something. All right. This is what we... Oh, look at this. The padded stuff. Oh, man, that is so valuable. Okay, uh, let's take all of it. That's enough for us to make... Um, Yeah, make the helmet. I already got the plates and the sinew, so... Oh, beautiful. Okay, worth the price of admission, definitely. 
Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, let's turn this on, run your fuel out, and uh, let's take your burnt food, your ash, and... Oh, good, he had rendered fat. I've, I realized I had... What's this? Oh, they got a distiller. Nice. I realized that I had forgotten uh, to check the fat in the last... Um, what is that? Zinc fragments? Let's eat this. You know, the last raid that I did. Oh. So, yeah, we did it now. Alright, so we're running their power out. Do they have any lights? Yeah, let's turn the light on. And we stole all their stuff. And I think... Is there anything... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you got in here, man? Son of a gun. Alright. What else can we take care of right at the moment? Uh, this. Okay. We're completely filled up here and we've gotten our revenge and our reward these being by far the best things i guess this little walkie talkie thing uh is able to show where the uh, the road camps are all right so it is uh what, whereabouts is the sun at right there so it's in the it's like mid afternoon right now. So we have a little bit of daylight left. Why don't we? Oh shit! That's right. I can't pick anything up, can I? Um. Here, let's eat this because we need to anyway. Uh, we really need to get back to the base and drop this stuff off. Maybe even make the helmet. Let's do that first, and then we'll come back to the lake and see if we can get a little bit of ice fishing in before dark. Now, when those guys repop, I don't know if they're going to immediately attack us or what their deal is. So, let's hope they don't. And really, if you think about it, they this was really a retaliation on my part. They they were the aggressors, so I don't know if the AI takes that into account or not. What is that? A protein bar? Man. Uh, let's temporarily. What is? What are these medicinal plant seeds? Those aren't that important. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to leave the medicinal plant seeds there. I have not had any trouble in this game finding medicinal plants. And they, you know, unless they stop growing in January and February, they seem to be available all year. Oh boy, that was... It turned out to be worth it. I mean, it cost us a death. I think we're up to eight deaths now in this playthrough, something like that. I'll have to check. There's our cougar buddy. It costs us a death and um and some damage to our base, but it was really worth it, I think. Okay, so let's put this in here. We now have enough to make a, a lock pick, which we need to do. That's going to be the priority there. And then all of the components. We're up to 30 weapon parts now, so we can either start thinking about making the lever action. Oh, we got nails, too. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, th this actually turned out to be super worthwhile for us to do. Oh, man. Amazing. Okay. What else did we get? We got three more ingots from them, some more gunpowder. Um, What else would go in here? That goes in here. We'll keep the ammunition with us. We got a little more oil, which is good, because I need to make some more of the tonic thing, madoodles. And seven more fat to keep that Jenny going. Beautiful. What is our power up to now? 736. Yeah, okay. We needed to get it up to a thousand because I want to make this recycler thing next. Um, so, you know, we're kind of hanging on to our broken picks and that sort of thing. I guess we'll put this dealio in there. We'll put that stuff in there. And, yeah. Let's grab this. We're going to grab both of our waters. I'm going to drink one now. I'll drink the other one when we get to the base. Okay, so what do we need? Um, can I make... The vest gives eight protection. What's this give? Five protection and one warmth. Um, could I make one more of these? What do we need for that again? We need three cotton. We only have two cotton. Damn it. All right, well, let's make the helmet. The helmet will help protect your head anyways, of course, so... That's the one we'll do. Uh, so we need two of these. Got that. And three sinews. Got that. And boom. 
thanks to those hunter bastards they actually helped us out a lot more than i'm sure they intended to <laughs> oh this is actually turning out to be good this is a prime example guys of things turning starting out absolutely terrible and turning good well here okay here we go is is this uh ready for us yeah okay cool we got some protection um this is obviously a different hunter group so with these guys we're just going to defend um I'm not gonna retaliate against them because I don't, I don't want that many dudes on us all at the same time. There. Okay, we got him. Does he have buddies, or is it just that asshole? Oh. Uh, yeah, I still hear footsteps. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's two down. Anybody else come to play? Since they came from that direction, it's probably the, the bigger camp, you know, to the southeast of us. But, again, I'm not going to retaliate on them right now. Oh. We don't have time uh, to do that anyways. It's too late in the day. Uh, where do we kill that other dude? Right out here. Man, it's too bad they didn't drop one more um, padded cloth. That would have been great. Of course, it doesn't matter now because we already made the other thing, but still. Uh, by the way, that's what we're looking like now, man. Look at us. Awesome. Okay. All right. So, um, here's what we're going to do. We have a little bit of daylight left. So let's drop off this stuff. Uh, this needs to go in here. Uh, let's, oh yeah, let's put this stuff in here. Uh, maybe we don't really have a little bit, bit of daylight left. Here, let's load that back up. Uh, we need water. So let's just, let's just run out to the the pond real quick get some water and maybe throw the line in once I'm hoping the the third hunter camp doesn't decide they want to attack us today too okay so let's get our axe out and we have to go as far as it'll let us cut right here this is really cool, man. Adding ice fishing to the game. Very, very neat addition. Okay. Now, let's grab our pole, which is in seven, and press E to start fishing. Now, can we come all the way back to our hut so we can stay sheltered while we're doing this? Um, we're going the wrong way. I don't know if it's going to let me reel the fish in unless I'm right next to the hole, but that's one of the things we're going to find out here. Now that I know you have to go out a little further, which does make sense, you know, you need to be out a little deeper, um, we might extend this platform out once we get to the point where we can actually afford to do so. All right, come on, fish, bite. We don't have much time. All right, my guess is I have to be near the hole, but that's fine. We can just walk up to it. Oh, nice, we got a pike, too. Even better. Okay, let's get back to our base. We might be getting a visit from our friends who... Uh, provided a combat helmet or riot helmet for us whether they intended to do that or not 
I'm pretty sure they didn't, but they did. So we had a, a, a bad start and a good end. Bad start and a good end. And that's the way I like. I'd rather do it that way than the other way around, right? Save the best for last and all that. Um, we also, actually, before I let you go, um, let's go ahead and fillet this guy. And we'll put uh, those in there. We got a couple more things. Uh, so it's, it's encouraging to know that, I mean, if we run completely run out of food and it's too damn cold for me to be out trouncing around, we can at very least ice fish to, to survive. Uh, but anyway, before I let you go, let's go here and um, may, we need to make this wall here. Oh, we got to get some, some of this stuff. And any chance I have enough to do the ceiling too? Ooh. Any chance I have enough to do a doorway? Look at that. What about a, an actual door, too? I don't know. Do we even need a door, though? Eh, I'll test that. Maybe we'll temporarily pull that door down and put it over here and see if it makes any difference at all. Okay. Let's put this here. And we want this to pop in. Hopefully, it'll snap in place there. Oh, man. Is that terrain going to be a problem? Oh, shit. I was hoping it would snap in over the terrain, but... Well, that sucks. What about on this side? Wait, where did we put the curved piece? I thought it was over here. Oh, no. Well. Hmm. All right. We might have to make like a... Make this a smaller room with a, just a normal sized wall. <coughs> <coughs> That's disappointing. I was hoping that would, would go in there, but it's not snapping at all. Oh, 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 oh. It just did. Oh, it did. Okay. Whew. Oh, man. Okay. I was getting a little worried there. Just had to kind of work it a little bit. Okay. And then this should rotate. Wait a minute. Rotate this way? It's a little bit weird trying to get in here. There. Very good. And then the doorway can go here. Nope. Right here. You, you had it a second ago. Okay, good. So this is a fully enclosed place. And it is now 8 degrees, 7 degrees, 8 degrees inside of here with the stove. If we... This would be a bad time to get an attack, but hopefully we won't. Let's grab this real quick. What I want to see is, does it make a difference if there's a door in place or not? Okay. So if we come in here and close the door... Still shows 8 degrees. So I'm going to say probably not. Okay, let's get this back before somebody attacks us. It's still eight degrees. Okay, so the door doesn't make a difference. But now we have an actual enclosed space. So, you know, if if we get some really, really cold days, it's still December, man. I would have thought it would be January by now. Um, if we get some really, really cold days, then we should be able to come in here and still stay warm with the stove. Now, I know we can make this heater here. That would require three circuit boards. Oh, we have enough stuff. Uh, what's it take to make those circuit boards? I'm not going to do it right now. I just want to see if I can do it if I have to. Yeah, we, we just need 12 copper fragments and 6 pearls. We have 54 copper fragments and we have 19 pearls. Uh, so if we had to, we could make that. We could make the heater but what I want to do is I'm gonna just see if I can get by with the stove 
first and um you know if we can get by with the stove then that's what we'll do because it's just going to be cheaper i really want to make this too and we can why don't we let's make it first before i let you guys go i know i was supposed to let you go a long time ago right but keep having more things to do uh what else did it say that needed uh oh eight eight uh electronics okay we got 110 of those suckers let's make this mass thing here we go and uh we still have 347 power that's good just always want to check this fridge and make sure it does never turn it never turns off never 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 Let's put all this stuff back in here. We still have nine nails left over that we can do some repairs with. Um, so let's grab that. And this hammer's about ready to break. Uh, let's do those repairs now. All right, what's in the worst shape? That's 397, 400. That's in pretty good shape there. 343, let's hit that one once. Uh, let's look up top. One of these was showing, I think it was just that one there. That's the way this, you know, this has been for me. I can't fully repair it. I just have to kind of repair it a little bit at a time. All right, let's hit the door once. What does the foundation, uh, what do the foundations look like? Okay, this one's kind of rough let's hit it a couple times how many nails do I have left four this one's pretty rough too let's hit it a couple times all right and then if we go out here oh they they destroyed I had a foundation here and they destroyed it those bastards that's okay though I mean it's not okay not okay not at all not under any circumstances is it okay but what I meant to say is if anything was to be destroyed it was probably good that it was that. That ceiling's in pretty bad shape, too, so... Okay. Um, last thing before we let you go. Let's grab this guy, our new appliance, and uh, we're going to stick it somewhere. Um, why don't we put it right here for now? I, I, I want to... You know, I'm trying to keep things away from that area. I might even... Here, actually, let's move this. To here. And then we'll put this guy. Um, uh, yeah, end. Oh man, don't destroy it. That would be, that'd make me cry, man. Uh, can we rotate it that way? Yeah, and then we'll just stick this in the corner here. There we go. All right, now what we want to do is grab all of these broken picks. And those electronics are not supposed to be in there. I think that's all. And if we... So it does, it does take a little power to do that, but that's okay. It's to be expected. This is cool, man. I like this. How useful is that? So I got to try, you know, I shouldn't have broken the hammer. We could have put it in there, but look at the mass we just got from all that. That's great. That is fantastic. All right, guys, I am going to let you go. And um, <coughs> it is, um, you know, the next day, of course, and probably what I'll do is take another day or two off. And these are growing. They're super slow, but they are growing. Um, take another day or two off and just keep looking for nails. And then I'll bring you back at some point with an update. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.